Mm -hmm. Shall I go to the end? Yes, please. I don't know how the camera works. The cam the this is there. Okay, so it's a pleasure to introduce uh, Professor Alexei Lubenko, uh, who is from Kiev, and uh, actually he's been, well, he's officially at the Institute of Mathematics in Kiev, but of course there's not too many people there, uh, and he has been here in Dublin now since September, is it? September, was it? Yeah, September. Yeah. Yeah. Beginning of, yes, yes, of September, yeah. yeah. So, uh, but uh, he plans to go back next week. But uh, before he goes, uh, I thought it would be a good idea that he gives a talk. We, we've we been collaborating for many years already, and uh, I hope he'll be safe over there. He'll speak about uh, a new and simple proof of Cayley's formula for tree graphs. Thank you. Thanks. I would like to thank uh, Professor Tony Jones and Enjoy Corinth for invitation and for the possibility to speak to speak here in this and to support and also uh, uh, um, George Rogers uh, for large help in this not trivial for me period being here in Dublin in this in this difficult for me and for my country period. Uh, I am uh, uh, I am sorry, and uh, I uh, for my poor English, unfortunately. But, but I hope, uh, and I ask you to to ask me question loudly and and slowly, and slowly to understand. But uh, I should Tony Dollars who support me and uh, help me. It will help some in some situa difficult situation. Uh, I am uh, very happy to, to, to speak here. Uh, this room brings back my memory. <laughs> it was in 1990. Uh, I spoke here uh, by thanks to invitation of uh, George, uh, John Lewis, who was director in that period. I am sure that many of you uh, remember this remarkable scientist, uh, and so it, it was my memory. Of course, uh, I need to. Oh, yeah. uh, you, you, yeah, next. How, how do you. Oh, yeah. It's there. Yes, it's done. Ah, oh, so. <coughs> before I thought for a long time about choosing the topic of this uh, talk. Uh, of course, we are, I have a, a, a paper with dollars, Tony Dollars and Baptiste Sawa, which published in journal Mathematical Physics, but uh, it, this is uh, very complicated. And uh, I, but uh, <laughs> it will be interesting for very narrow uh, group of listeners, so I decided to choose uh, this more uh, simple topic, and uh, because graph theory obviously has the widest application in any branch of mathematics. Uh, so and another reason is that the mathematics in which graph theory is applied can make a pos positive contribution to the development of graph theory itself. Uh, to the, I hope that this is, to some extent, consensus of my my talk here. He. So uh, I I should change it. Oh, yes, it's done. I I I I will change it. Just tell me when. So uh, Kelly's formula states uh, that the number of labeled three graphs uh, on the set of numbers from 2 to n equal n to the power n minus 1. I hope uh, that you uh, know what, what is uh, tree, tree graph. So uh, the, the subject of study is in the, in the set of graphs of rooted forests. Graph. 
forest. The forest graph is a graph whose connected component is tree graph. Uh, in classical uh, theory, a uh, tree uh, graph uh, should have at, uh, uh, at least one branch, so two vertices. But uh, uh, for uh, uh, my consideration, it is uh, in contrast to this situation, we consider not only uh, tree with two branches, but even with one root, with one uh, vertex. This is like felt tree, cut it free, uh, tree. So, uh, or stump. It's, it's not mathematical, word, but uh, nevertheless. Uh, I, I, so, we considered a tree. Uh, uh, the stump is also a, a rooted tree. No, because the, it is really tree on the ground, so it is, we can consider it. As, so in this case, when um, we consider this set of uh, forest, a special case of formula, uh, Kelly formula is uh, this one, n, n plus, plus one, this is the same, not for n, two, n equal one. Uh, so, next slide. Uh, this is an example of tree. Here is, for example, uh, this tree is, uh, consists of two. Uh, three, this is four. four. This is, uh, consists of two trees. One tree with two branches and one stem, uh, one uh, root. Uh, in this case, this tree also consists of uh, two uh, forests. Two, uh, this forest consists of two trees, but uh, every tree has one branch. Uh, this is just what uh, consideration of my leaves. Uh, he is uh, I. Uh, Show you this uh, some uh, citations. There are many ways to prove this this formula, uh, and most of uh, which is very close to my this class. But uh, there is uh, I know about maybe nine or ten uh, variant to prove this formula, but. Uh, I consider that this, I represent you, this is very, very, very simple. It is possible to understand it for students of the first course. So I decided to, to speak about this, please. Uh, first, we are going to, to construct uh, this, uh, for the graph, not only on the plane, but in, the, in the, any data dimension of Euclidean space. So we consider uh, the coordinate of this number of this space, and uh, uh, it, it should be uh, just uh, vertices of and. Uh, but I stress that uh, in, uh, in the second part of my talk. F first, I, I uh, uh, tell about the proof of this formula, and then uh, I uh, uh, speak about the connection with statistical mechanics. This way. And so, this is the notation of. Uh, Gamma zero is a space of points in the bounded number of these points, and gamma lambda is, it means that these four coordinates are in some lambda which is a bounded region of Euclidean space RT. Please. 
so by connecting some configuration of these points, when with lines, edges, you can form a graph. And we denoted the internal line of a number, a set of edges, plus E of F, and uh, uh, any header, this is configuration which consists of M points, M vertices, uh, is also for a graph uh, consisting of, of M, M connected. Uh, for example, uh, more <coughs> next, this. Uh, now we uh, introduce some notation. We consider M connected rooted forest graph. It means that uh, every uh, connected component of this forest graph is tree. Uh, and we denote it all the goods of this uh, graph by eta and all other vertices from the configuration is graph. So uh, it is in such a way that subset, any subset of gamma uh, which belongs to some uh, tree with root xk could not be belong to other tree because it is different component. In the case n equals zero, it means that we have uh, uh, just uh, totally uh, felled forest, only, only which consists of only of uh, roots. The, the set of such uh, forest with given configuration of roots eta and uh, another is gamma be denoted by, by gamma. I, sh I show uh, also this the example of this with, with eta x1 x2 and gamma by 1 by 2. One more please. Next This uh, I show you. So, this is a particular case for our uh, forest uh, eight. Uh, we, we have eight forest such things. <coughs> uh, so to prove our formula, we should have uh, we introduce analytic contribution of weights of graph F. Uh, for any uh, vertices, we the uh, weights of our weights in A constant, some constant age, and uh, for the line or edges, the uh, 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 analytic contribution of is some uh, function which depends on the distance between these vertices. Uh, uh, of course, uh, in, in such uh, case when uh, we have some application of this uh, theory to the, to the in physical in physics uh, we should have some uh, constraints on the assumption of this the behavior of this four function. So if we but the uh, if we want to only prove this for our uh, formula, any formula, it is not, it is, we don't need this uh, assumption. Uh, this is, will be the second part of the topic. The analytic contribution of the forest in this case is very simple. We, we can we have the constant to the, to the power, to the cardinality of all. The vertices and the, the product of all lines. Yes. Uh, the the uh, background, main background of our, of our group is the important, very, very important, very easy identity. 
if we uh, have the, the forest with uh, n rules eta and another vertex is n number n and we denote it by eta to sub index ax hat this is eta without this uh, vertex vertex x then uh, in the left hand side of this formula is just the sum over all analytic contribution of all uh, forests with this characteristic. Uh, and in this case, it is the same the formula, but it is written in the another uh, order. First, we, we, uh, we consider all forest, all graph forest, which, in which this chosen, our, our chosen uh, <coughs> Vertex is uh, has no any connection, uh, has no any lines with an arc. So just uh, all, all graphs with uh, x without a line. In this case, this is a unit, and we have just this sum uh, over uh, all, all graph tree without this uh, one mm -hmm. x. Uh, the next group of terms includes graphs in which vertex x is joined by uh, a single line uh, to the vertex is gone. Uh, all, all, all here have to come points to subset from gamma. So, uh, if we gamma divided in, in all subset, the, the remaining group of sum corresponds to the graph in which the vertex X is attached to the points of the subset psi by or gamma by cardinality of psi lattice. So this is just easy for you. Now, if we introduce, uh, uh, yes, so you remember this formula, and now we, we introduce. Uh, uh, Sorry, I, just, I think I'm just. No, the kernel, introduce the kernel. Next, next. Kernel, introduce the kernel Q with characteristic with eta uh, roots and gamma and other vertices. Uh, this is the sum of all gra graph of this hour. And uh, it is easy to see that if you come back to uh, to the our uh, previous identity, so that is just the identity. But here, for Q, it is recurrent relation. So this is we, from uh, elementary uh, formula uh, uh, for all the trees, ways all ways of trees. We have. Uh, recurrent relation for Q, so for, for, for sum of all uh, analytic contribution of all of all forest graph. Uh, in this situation, we have K new slashy way, and to solve this uh, recurrent relation, we should have some initial condition. It is uh, natural that if it, there is no way three and in forest, so this is one situation. And uh, uh, it is impossible to have three without, without this, to have forest without three, so this is zero. And now, uh, by induction, it is uh, very easy to obtain, uh, all, uh, to write down all, all uh, Q, this is uh, just all of for a forest graph from the F eta, eta uh, Now the, the question how many is this, uh, this tree for, for forest tree? Uh, we 
helped for, 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 for a given beta and uh, dark. <coughs> uh, and this is if we put in any graph uh, H in the one and then you unit H and K also unit we please next we obtain uh, obtain the Q11 is just the number of uh, this forest ground. So for this number, if it rewrite now our, our reference relation for Q, this is this one. So all, all subset of gamma is just this factor denominator factor L and uh, uh, <coughs> so we uh, should solve this by induction as well. For for small m n it is very easy to calculate how many we have uh, stated using this lemma that the number of this of this uh, for a graph is just this this formula. The number of forest graph is given M and the M forest. Trees, trees. Okay, this how to maybe back. I mean to, to solve this we should by induction, we, we consider that this formula is true for smaller more for, for the case of n plus k minus 1 and n minus 1. So we should take here this, this way and obtain this way to the left. So what about k equals m? Sorry? What about k equals m? Because then it's zero. Yes. So then you have to state that separately. So instead of a, a and b, we should say this one, and instead of m, m minus Okay, and uh, so we should solve this by by in that. Uh, now it is easy if we uh, put here. If you put in this case this formula, we obtain uh, uh, two 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 uh, terms. Yes, so first. Uh, well, then, I mean, M, 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 which doesn't depend on K, and the second term is K, K, K minus K minus 1 in the sum. So it is very elementary to calculate this M and 1, this left. For example, the next. Uh, this is just if we put uh, the, the term which doesn't depend on k, this one before sum, we obtain the uh, uh, formula to denote, just denote uh, Newton, uh, Newton denote. Uh, so this is. Uh, Let me, uh, ah, sorry. There it is. First, the same complex M plus when M and M1 is this term is dependent K, and here is M plus 1 to the power. Uh, M2 is a little bit difficult, but it's the same, very simple to, uh, to write down in this way. So, so 
different between two plates, and we are obtained as a result also uh, the demand expansion for this amplitude to get this power, but with this multiple. As a result, in the now plus we will obtain this power formula. So uh, the number of all forest uh, with given uh, trees and the and another vertices uh, can exist in this form. It, but uh, to, uh, this is the number of forests. And uh, we, we should uh, remember that we are going to, to go for how many trees in this case n equal is equal to 1. And we obtain just for n equal 1 just k is 4. Yes. So, uh, and one can is just compare formula and for this particular case. Uh, now it remains um, to explain uh, how this uh, recurrent relation appears in statistical material. So we should uh, the second part of my talk how to explain the way in statistical terms can here is this, uh, this recurrent relation. So we again come back to configuration space, uh, but uh, now we consider uh, now infinite system of particles, interacting particles in, uh, in the RD, and uh, we their coordinates with x, y, comma, uh, it should be a locally finite subset of RD because it is just physical assumption because in the bounded region we should have exactly uh, bounded uh, number of uh, finite number of particles. And uh, the particles uh, gamma zero is uh, or also a finite number of particles, but in all spaces, and if this uh, particle are in some uh, bounded region uh, of Rd, Rd, then we have, we have denoted it by gamma and So please, uh, next. Uh, now we uh, should introduce uh, the rotation of uh, Energy. We consider two body interaction between particles, phi, but in which the potential phi is just to this uh, uh, interaction. And uh, then we, uh, we consider two body approximation, so we consider that the energy of this n particles, uh, of this particle, are this formula. And uh, this W uh, is the uh, 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 energy between configuration eta and gamma, fraction energy and gamma. And eta and gamma that, that intersect. So we should impose some uh, some assumptions on this uh, interaction. Uh, the, uh, this is standard for uh, two, two uh, assumptions. Stability, it, it means that the energy per particle uh, should be uh, more than some b, uh, bounded from the below by constant b, minus b, and uh, uh, the regularity condition means that the potential should be uh, goes to zero when the distance between particles goes to uh, infinite in such a way that this integral is 
very popular in the molecular physics, such kind of potential because the region of uh, uh, repulsion when uh, we have uh, one particle uh, between particles and uh, the region of uh, uh, attraction. So it is such kind of particles you can consider. Yeah. And, uh, this we also introduce for to, to write down the cumbersome formula where we introduce some measure lambda with the activity of the particle which is connected with chemical potential and uh, this some infinite sum, so for measurable, some measurable function, uh, we can denote by this integral with respect to, to measure lambda. Okay, and uh, now of physics uh, based uh, on uh, the average of this. Yes. Uh, next, please. Uh, average of, uh, of values of physical observed quantities uh, uh, can be written in, with respect to uh, Gibbs measure, for example, from this uh, observable, lo local observable. It, it means that uh, observed of this physical observed quantities. Should uh, depend on uh, only on uh, some group of particles in bounded region D, or D, and uh, in the general case, it can be uh, uh, right down in this way, and uh, this integral can be read in the not with respect to this measure, because it is very difficult to regulate in infinite, infinite case. I mean, when we have limit in that. So, we, uh, it is called, it is more better to, to write down with more through so called uh, uh, correlation measures. It, it means that we, we have, uh, it is very easy to, to write down for, for bounded, uh, in, uh, we have finite volume, bounded region, lambda, and uh, in the, for potential, we consider this. Uh, Correlation method as continues with respect to this lambda measure which we define. And uh, the Radonica didn't believe it, believe it, it believe raw of it. You can know it, this raw of it. And please. And this flow uh, of F, next, next please. This flow uh, of F is connected to the measure, gives measure, for example, by this formula, but uh, it is better to, it is impossible for us to calculate this for, for our general cases. So, as usual, we start from the bounded system in the bounded region lambda, and then we can, we should make this thermodynamic, thermodynamic limit 
for, for this case. Then, then one uh, way to, to construct uh, this correlation function in uh, infinite volume is uh, to consider so-called Kirkwood uh, Zalbrook equation. Please, next. The, for, uh, the, for, for the, uh, the question in our annotation is the system of infinite system of integral equation with this kernel Q and which depends on the potential uh, and it is why all assumption uh, is potential. And uh, if we now look for the solution of this equation uh, in, the, in this form, uh, where uh, t at gamma is uh, some uh, unknown kernel, kernel. So if we now substitute here this, uh, this, this in this way, in this uh, way, in this equation, we uh, uh, obtain the following uh, relation. Please. So, in this case, we obtain the following relation for T, uh, our kind of T. Uh, and now, using the property of uh, of the potential, the assumption of our potential, we can uh, write down the, the bound, bound of this exponent before this sum uh, in such a way. This is just uh, a case for, for, for our using our assumption before this and uh, then, uh, if you have this, this we can obtain uh, that our kernel T, which is the solution of Kirkwood uh, Lambda equation, can be bounded by this Q, some Q, which has the following relation. So, uh, with which we started this relation for uh, the truth of K. So, uh, this uh, relation appeared maybe in 1973 in the work of uh, Nilos and Pogacian, and but they, uh, to prove the convergence of this in integral, they, uh, on the contrary, uh, used uh, this Kelly formula to calculate the number of this. Uh, but with this, uh, they maybe didn't uh, note that uh, it, is, uh, it is possible to, to use just this equation to, 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 to prove this formula. But this is a very easy remark. Uh, so we have uh, we started this, this relation to prove uh, formula, uh, which uh, this is the way how to obtain this uh, from the statistical case for sure for solving the equation. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. Can, can you say something about about what what models, what physical models that we might be familiar with, what some physical models that we might be familiar with, uh, where this has been used, where this could be? Sorry, Tony, I don't understand. So you mentioned that that's the classical gas with that that uh, ah. shape. You, uh, he's, um, he's just he's going to use it with the Leonard Jones potential. But I'm not. I am. 
It is just a gas. It's just a gas, yeah. And you're not, you're going to bow. You're just going to get a bound. Uh, you're using it to get a bound on uh, the partition function. Yeah. Okay. And not just the partition function. You can do the same with the with the correlation functions. So that's what yeah. we're doing. Yes. Now I understand. Yes. So, but uh, this, uh, I should stress that this is not, it's very, very, very easy to, to prove. Uh, yeah, the Cayley The Cayley founders is, yes, we, we saw that. It seems easy enough. <laughs> yeah. Um, the, the details went, went by too quickly for me to, uh, to appreciate lots of it. Was that? Yes. Uh, in this, I'm trying to see where these trees are really playing a role in that, in that, because it seems indirect when you've got the Leonard Jones potential, uh, you've got this, you, you've got this product of it, but you must have, you must have done something to bring in those trees. He, he, showed, he showed us that it was a product over any kernel, would you, how tight a bound is this? Let's make it another way. How tight a bound is this? It's, uh, it's good when the uh, density is low. Okay. When the density is low. How, how low? Explain to Yeah, well, there is, an, there is a bound on, on that. Okay. So, that's a little complicated. But it, it's to do with that integral e to the minus b to by. So if that is small, then. I mean, I know that in, in dimer models, these fruited trees play an essential an important role. Can you yes. use this? So in dimer in models? In dimer models. Uh, Slava Priyashev used to uh, uh, like to, to use rooted trees in the context of dimer model. Right. Is, can one say something about that here? Using this relation? I don't know. The counting those trees is very common. So. Happens a lot. Yes. I'm sorry, you will speak very quick and uh, okay, I'm sorry. And, yes. But I understand how it is. So I also have a question. Um, so there is a generalization of Cayley's formula uh, where you uh, fix the uh, 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 what's that called? The, uh, the, the number of lines, uh, the, the number of lines that uh, emanate from given vertex. So if valency. You, hmm? The valency. The, no, it's not valency. It's, 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 it's the valence, yeah. It's the valence. The valence of vertex. Yeah. Yeah, but so you, you fix how many vertices have a particular, or if you like, valence. Yes. And then they're still formed. And I wonder whether your method would still apply. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's difficult to answer straight off, so, but it's worth trying. Mm -hmm. yes. so, each of them just branches? No, no, no. So not each one branches, but you... you, you but it has a fixed branch. But each branch you has determine how many vertices have a certain number of Branches. Oh, you want a refined form? Yes, it's a refined form, and that exists. I have it in my book. You can start by you know, contracting lines to make the base a little too small. Let me show them here. And the base. Yeah, but so here, here, there's no, there's no given uh, number for how many vertices with three lines and how many no, vertices but, with five. But the edges are labeled, aren't they? Well that. So the information is indexed, we just have to start looking. No, the, the information is not in that form. No, it's not in that form. Either. Yes, of course, it, yeah, in principle, but I mean, to find a formula that, that is more complicated, but it exists, I know the problem. So it's, uh, Maybe whether you can derive that that way. That example, when a is Hmm? 
Okay. Well, let's, let's thank our speaker again. Yes. Thank you. So the original Kelly's formula wasn't only applicable to vertices with two branches? No, it's a, it's a yeah. total number of tree branches that you can make given the second version. So you, you're allowed to you know, you can start with one point and immediately connect it to each of the others. Yeah. Or you can connect it to one and then that one to there. So 